Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer where the error reads that the Windows cannot connect to the printer. Operation failed with error 0x00000011b. 0 so this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, or come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import, and then navigate to the file location. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HQ local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for current control set. Same thing for control. And then finally, there should be a print folder in here. Just scroll down and select it. Please take note of our file path. You can see up at the top of the screen here, each backslash is a different subfolder we went under to get to this point. Now on the right panel here, now that you've selected print, on the right side, you want to right click, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. Now I'm going to zoom in on the screen here just so everyone can see it. We're going to type in RPC capital R, lowercase p, c, and then capital A, lowercase u, t, h, n, like authentication, just abbreviated here. And then you're going to type in level, L-E-V-E-L, capital first letter of each word here, as you can see. And then we're going to type in privacy, P-R-I-V-A-C-Y, and then enabled, E-N-A-B-L-E-D. Hit enter on your keyboard. You should see it listed in here now among the list. You want to make sure it's typed exactly how you see it on my screen and double click on it. In the value data field, you want to set it to zero. So delete whatever number might be in there if there already was a value in there. Just delete it. Assuming you didn't just create it, like there might already have been a value in here with that name, in which case you just would double click on it and set the value data to zero and then select OK. And then once that is done, you want to close out of here and you want to restart your computer. And one other thing we can try here as well would be to open up the search menu, type in troubleshoot, best match, should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. In the options field over on the right side, you want to go down and select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the printer troubleshooter and the run button. And then I'd recommend following along with any steps that it suggests or prompts for you to follow at this point. And again, hopefully it would have resolved the problem as well. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.